So here's a news flash for the left. Gay, straight, feminist, or whatever minority group you've arbitrarily co-opted. You don't get to make things up to suit your narrative. You don't get to pretend grifters and hoaxers are heroes or rapists and abusers are feminist standard bearers. You don't get to gaslight the American public that the economy is just fine or that people who vote differently than you are terrorists. Why would a well-known political commentator choose not to marry? Tammy Bruce finally reveals. Why she never married has intrigued many. In a world that often expects otherwise, her choice reflects a personal journey shaped by early life influences and a bold public persona. Through her convictions and unique perspective on relationships, Tammy has carved out a life led entirely on her terms, challenging social norms and redefining independence. My generation, myself personally, working for decades to recognize the differences women experience in society because of who we are, because we're different. There's a difference between men and women. Tammy Bruce's path to becoming a sharp political commentator began in an unconventional setting, painted vividly by her unique upbringing. Born on August 20th, 1962, in Los Angeles, her childhood was far from ordinary. Raised primarily by her mother, Bruce's early life was devoid of a father figure. Her father's identity remains unknown to her, adding a layer of mystery to her formative years. Although faced with challenges, Bruce's intellectual curiosity flourished. At the remarkably young age of 12, she chose to step away from traditional schooling, opting to pursue her education independently. This decision led her to obtain a California high school equivalency diploma at just 15. Bruce's thirst for knowledge and self-directed learning highlighted her early independence and showcased a burgeoning self-reliance that would become a hallmark of her character. Her move to Chicago as a teenager, living briefly with relatives, was a turning point that introduced her to new perspectives and ideas. However, the pull of Los Angeles was strong and she returned in her late teens, stepping into the world of personal assistance and minor roles in the entertainment industry. It was here that Bruce first rubbed shoulders with the influential and famous, working for figures like actress Brenda Benet. The suicide of Benet, a profound tragedy in Bruce's life, occurred when Bruce was just 19. This event left an indelible mark on her, shaping her views on personal relationships and mental health. Bruce's professional life took a significant turn when she attended the University of Southern California in her later years, graduating with a degree in political science. It was during this period that her political and social ideologies began to take shape. She was drawn into the pro-choice movement, a cause that saw her adopt aggressive tactics in defending abortion clinics. This advocacy brought her into the fold of the National Organization for Women, NOW, where she eventually ascended to become the president of its Los Angeles chapter at the age of 27, making her the youngest to hold such a position. But how did these experiences influence her views on marriage? Tammy Bruce's ascent from a passionate feminist leader to a renowned conservative commentator is a journey marked by significant shifts in perspective and allegiance. Her early years at the helm of the National Organization for Women in Los Angeles were characterized by vocal advocacy for women's rights and reproductive freedom. During this time, Bruce's fiery approach and uncompromising defense of abortion clinics garnered her both respect and controversy within feminist circles. However, the mid-1990s brought pivotal changes to her life and ideology. The O.J. Simpson trial, a landmark event in American social history, became a turning point for Bruce. She vocally criticized Simpson and was at the forefront of organizing protests against him. This stance put her at odds with some segments of the feminist and civil rights communities who viewed the case through the lens of racial injustice. Bruce's insistence on framing the conversation around violence against women, regardless of race, led to tension within now, ultimately resulting in her censure 
by the organization's national leadership. Feeling increasingly alienated from the liberal feminist agenda, Bruce began to question the movement's direction, which she felt was veering too far toward identity politics and victimhood. Her disillusionment with what she perceived as the mainstream feminist movement's departure from its original goals of empowerment and equality prompted her to explore new ideological territories. By the late 1990s, Bruce had fully transitioned into conservative commentary. Her experiences and frustrations with the feminist movement had reshaped her views, leading her to advocate for what she calls authentic feminism, a form of feminism that emphasizes individual choice and responsibility without the constraints of ideological conformity. Her shift was not just ideological but also professional. She began to make regular appearances on Fox News, where her sharp commentary and critique of contemporary feminist and liberal politics resonated with a conservative audience. Next, we'll explore the key moments that defined her public stance on personal commitments. Tammy Bruce's views on relationships and marriage are deeply influenced by her background as a feminist leader and her subsequent evolution into a conservative commentator. Publicly, Bruce has often expressed a nuanced stance on these topics, blending personal experiences with her broader ideological shifts. Bruce has been openly lesbian for much of her adult life and has discussed how this aspect of her identity influenced her views on relationships. In various interviews and speeches, she has articulated that for her, being gay is more about personal choice and preference rather than an innate condition. This perspective is controversial within the LGBTQ community, where many view sexual orientation as an inherent trait, not a choice. Her approach to marriage is equally complex. Bruce has expressed skepticism about the institution of marriage, especially as it is traditionally understood. She argues that marriage can often impose restrictive roles on individuals, especially women. In her commentary, she has critiqued the notion of marriage as a societal expectation or a measure of personal success. Bruce's perspective is informed by her broader critique of what she perceives as the feminist movement's drift towards identity politics and victimhood, which she believes undermines women's autonomy and agency. Bruce's personal experiences have visibly shaped her views. Her significant relationship with actress Brenda Benet, which ended tragically with Bennett's suicide, profoundly affected Bruce. This relationship and its dramatic end appear to have influenced her thoughts on the permanence and pressures of close personal bonds. In her discussions, Bruce often alludes to the importance of personal freedom and the ability to define relationships on one's terms, rather than being bound by traditional or social expectations. Bruce's advocacy for same-sex marriage rights, despite her criticisms of traditional marriage roles, reflects her belief in the right to choose one's path. This stance encapsulates her broader philosophy that personal choice should be paramount, whether in opting into the institution of marriage or defining one's relationship structures. But what personal experiences led Tammy to these views? The answer might surprise you. Tammy Bruce's personal life, particularly her significant relationships, has played a crucial role in shaping her views and life choices. Her relationships have not only influenced her personal development, but also her public persona and ideological stances. One of the most impactful relationships in Bruce's life was with actress Brenda Benet. Bruce was just 19 years old when she entered into a relationship with the then 36-year-old Bennett, known for her role in the soap opera Days of Our Lives. The relationship was transformative for Bruce, exposing her to new social circles and the pressures of public life. However, it ended in tragedy when Benet took her own life in 1982. This event occurred in Bruce's apartment, marking a significant and traumatic moment in her life. The loss of Benet profoundly affected Bruce's outlook on relationships 
and her approach to personal commitments. It instilled in her a sense of the precariousness of life and the deep impact personal relationships can have on one's emotional well-being. After Bennett's suicide, Bruce stepped away from the entertainment industry to focus more on her education and activism. Her early involvement in the feminist movement and her role as a leader in the National Organization for Women, now, was likely shaped by her need to find direction after this loss. Her advocacy for women's rights and her outspoken positions on issues like domestic abuse and mental health can be seen as extensions of her experiences with Benet. Bruce has also been open about other relationships, though she has kept many details private. In interviews, she has mentioned past relationships with women and discussed how her sexual orientation influenced her views on traditional marriage structures. Bruce's relationships have often underscored her belief in the importance of personal freedom and the right to define one's relational boundaries without societal imposition. Coming up, how did a major personal loss change Tammy's life forever? Tammy Bruce's decision not to marry was not the result of a single event, but rather a series of realizations that unfolded over several years, culminating in a definitive personal stance against traditional marriage. This turning point in her life was deeply influenced by her professional experiences and personal losses, which collectively shaped her views on independence and personal autonomy. The major turning point came during her tenure as president of the Los Angeles chapter of the National Organization for Women, NOW. During this period, Bruce was at the forefront of numerous high-profile campaigns and was deeply immersed in advocacy for women's rights. However, it was also during this time that she began to observe what she perceived as the hypocrisy within the feminist movement, particularly around issues of marriage and personal freedom. Bruce witnessed firsthand how the feminist rhetoric often clashed with the personal experiences of the women she worked with. She saw many women feeling pressured to conform to certain ideological stances, including those regarding marriage and relationships. This discord between public advocacy and private realities led Bruce to question the genuineness of the movement's commitment to true personal freedom. Her personal experience with Brenda Benet's tragic suicide had a lasting impact on her views about deep personal commitments and the potential emotional toll they can bring. This tragedy reinforced her belief in the importance of maintaining personal autonomy and not binding oneself to traditional expectations, which often include marriage. Over time, Bruce came to see marriage not as an inherently negative institution, but as one that was not suited to her philosophy of life. She articulated a vision of relationships built on mutual respect and independence, rather than traditional roles prescribed by norms. Her public declarations about choosing not to marry were rooted in a desire to live authentically according to her values, which emphasize individual choice and the rejection of societal pressure. But how does Tammy Bruce channel these personal decisions into her professional life? Tammy Bruce has masterfully managed the delicate balance between her public persona and her private life decisions. As a media personality known for her incisive commentary and staunch political views, she navigates the complexities of living in the public eye while maintaining her convictions, particularly regarding her single status and views on marriage. Bruce's public persona is characterized by her outspoken, no-nonsense approach to political and social issues. She is frequently seen on national television and heard on her radio show discussing everything from political correctness to women's rights and the dynamics of modern feminism. This public exposure requires a level of openness about her personal beliefs, as these often form the basis of her arguments and the perspective she offers her audience. However, while Bruce has been open about many aspects of her life, she has managed to keep much of her personal life private. 
She rarely discusses her current romantic relationships, if any, focusing more on her principles and how they relate to broader societal issues. This careful management of personal disclosure allows her to maintain a professional focus while also protecting her privacy. Her single status, a significant aspect of her personal life choices, has become a part of her public narrative. Bruce often discusses how choosing not to marry aligns with her views on personal freedom and individualism, themes that resonate deeply with her conservative audience. She advocates for the idea that personal happiness and fulfillment can be achieved outside of traditional marital structures, which she sometimes views as confining or prescriptive. Moreover, Bruce's approach to handling her private life in public forums illustrates her commitment to living by the values she espouses. She uses her status as a single, independent woman to challenge conventional narratives about happiness and success, particularly those that dictate marriage as a universal goal. This stance not only reinforces her public persona, but also serves as a practical demonstration of her belief in making personal choices that are right for the individual, regardless of societal expectations. Up next, how does Tammy Bruce's single status influence her views on feminism today? Tammy Bruce's feminist views have undergone significant evolution throughout her career, influenced heavily by her personal life choices, including her decision to remain unmarried. Initially, a vocal leader in the feminist movement, through her role in the National Organization for Women, now, her perspective shifted as she began questioning the movement's direction and the implications of its ideologies on personal freedom and individual choice. During her time with NOW, Bruce was at the forefront of advocating for women's rights, particularly around issues like reproductive freedom. However, her experiences within the movement, combined with her encounters and relationships, gradually led her to a critical viewpoint of contemporary feminist practices, which she felt increasingly focused on victimhood and identity politics, rather than empowerment and personal agency. This shift was mirrored in her personal life, where Bruce's decision not to marry stemmed not only from her individual preferences, but also from a broader ideological stance against the societal pressures that often accompany traditional marriage. She viewed marriage as a potential constraint on personal freedom and autonomy, values she held in high esteem. Bruce's stance on marriage reflects her belief in the importance of personal choice and the ability to define one's life path without being bound by conventional social norms. Bruce argues that the modern feminist movement often imposes a one-size-fits-all narrative on women, pressuring them to conform to specific ideologies, including those related to marriage and family structures. Her critique extends to what she perceives as the movement's overemphasis on collective identity over individual choice and responsibility. By choosing to remain single, Bruce not only personalizes her advocacy for individual freedom, but also challenges the feminist narrative that often advocates for women's uniformity in thought and lifestyle. As Bruce transitioned into a more conservative commentator, her views on feminism continued to evolve. She began advocating for what she describes as authentic feminism, a form of feminism that emphasizes personal responsibility, individual choice, and the rejection of external pressures to conform. This philosophy resonates throughout her commentary and writings, where she calls for a re-evaluation of the roles and expectations that society often imposes on women. Let's look at how Tammy's philosophy impacts her advocacy work. Legacy and Influence on Modern Discourse Tammy Bruce's legacy in contemporary political and social discourse is a complex tapestry woven from her roles as a feminist leader, a conservative commentator, and a public intellectual who champions personal freedom and autonomy. Her influence extends across various spheres, shaping discussions around feminism, personal choice, and the political landscape. 
Bruce's transformation from a liberal feminist to a conservative voice has granted her a unique position from which to influence debates on gender, politics, and society. Her outspoken nature and willingness to challenge the status quo have made her a pivotal figure in discussions that cross traditional ideological divides. She has consistently advocated for what she terms authentic feminism, a philosophy that promotes individual choice and responsibility over collective identity politics. This stance has resonated with a broad audience, appealing to those who feel alienated by the modern feminist movement's focus on victimhood and identity politics. Moreover, Bruce's decision not to marry, rooted in her commitment to personal freedom and skepticism of traditional roles, has also contributed to her legacy. This personal choice serves as a practical demonstration of her beliefs and has influenced her advocacy work, encouraging a re-evaluation of the roles and expectations imposed on women. By living out her convictions, Bruce provides a powerful example of how personal life choices can reflect broader philosophical principles. In her media appearances and writings, Bruce has addressed a range of issues from political correctness to the breakdown of traditional family structures, always with a focus on how personal autonomy and freedom are impacted by societal and political conditions. Her contributions to conservative discourse are particularly noted for their blend of personal experience and political theory offering a perspective that is both relatable and intellectually rigorous. Bruce's influence on modern discourse is also evident in her role as a mentor and role model for younger women and men who value independence and challenge norms. Through her public speaking and media presence, she inspires others to think critically about the narratives they are presented with and to make choices that are true to their values and beliefs. Tammy Bruce's choices in marriage and relationships reflect her deep commitment to personal freedom and living on her terms. From her early experiences to her rise as a conservative commentator, her journey has been shaped by a refusal to conform to societal expectations. Whether you agree with her or not, her life offers a powerful reminder of the importance of staying true to one's own beliefs. What are your thoughts on Tammy's decisions? Share your comments and subscribe for more engaging content.